What do you call a pickle from the rainforest? A trope pickle. What do you call a pickle sale? A sweet dill. All right guys, enough with the stupid pickle jokes. Today we are making a pickle pie. This was actually a request from one of my viewers. They said, hey, you know, you want to know, I asked, I know our last video was about grape pie and I said, hey, what other kinds of unusual pies should I make? And they requested pickle pie. I've never heard of pickle pie, but I'm really intrigued and today we're going to make it. So let's get started. Okay, everybody, so I'm having issues with my camera. So in this bowl, I have sugar with two tablespoons of cornstarch and I've added the eggs and half and half. So now I'm just gonna eyeball the spices. So I'm adding the cinnamon and the nutmeg. Okay, nutmeg and the lemon zest. And for this recipe, you will need a nine inch unbaked pie shell. So I've got that right down there. My oven is preheated to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. And I will make sure to leave the link to this recipe down below in the description box. So if you want to make a pickle pie, you will be able to. And already this is smelling actually really good and I cannot wait to see what this tastes like. So we will, we're using bread and butter pickle chips. It said to use a sweet pickle and you take a cup of those and then you just process them in your food processor so they're nice and fine and then you add it to your pie filling. So I'm gonna do that off camera because I don't think you guys really would care to see me processing pickle chips in my food processor. So I will see you guys when that is done. Okay, so I processed my pickles. I need to save one tablespoon of the processed pickles and I'm gonna put it in with the rest of the cornstarch. And this is already smelling pretty interesting. I mean, it smells like, it smells like pickles, so we'll see. And it's only like a cup of pickles too, so not a whole lot. And I also forgot to add my melted butter to the filling, so in goes my melted butter. All right. So we mix this all up, and I gotta say that as far as recipes goes, this is pretty simple. You just mix it all up, and then pour it into your crust and bake it. So you can use a store-bought crust if you want. You can use your favorite pie crust recipe. I'll leave a link to the, my favorite pie crust recipe below. I use it all the time. I think it's a fantastic recipe. Okay, so next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take our processed pickle chips and we're gonna stir it in with the cornstarch. And you just wanna make sure that each little piece is lightly coated with the cornstarch. And then you stir this into the filling. It must, be, it must be so you get little pieces suspended. I mean, it smells good. It smells really good. I think I'm gonna add more cinnamon. I'm gonna add a little bit more cinnamon. I don't think you could really go wrong with cinnamon. It actually smells really good, even with the vinegar. I have high hopes for this. I think this is actually going to be really good. All right, where am I doing? Where am I going? Okay, so I have my unbaked pie shell. In goes the filling. Just scrape this out. I hate it when people don't scrape out their bowls and such on cooking shows. It drives me nuts. Okay, got it all. Okay, so you said you want to bake this in a preheated oven until it's lightly golden brown and the filling is just set. So it's like an hour to about an hour and 10 minutes. However, your time will probably vary because all ovens are a little bit different. So I'm just gonna set my timer for an hour and then I'm gonna check on it and see if it's done or not. So into the oven it goes. I will see you guys in about an hour. Okay guys, so the pie is out of the oven and cooling. It was in the oven for about an hour and it looks good and it smells spicy. So I'm really curious as to what this is going to taste like. I think this is gonna be really good. So I think I'm gonna let it cool a little bit more then I'm gonna pop it in the refrigerator to chill for a couple hours before we taste it. And we'll taste it when Dan comes home from work. I'll see you guys in a little bit. Hey everyone, it's Molly and Dan. Hey guys. We're ready to cut the pie. This pie looks interesting. So it's a pickle pie, huh? <laughs> yeah, it sure is. It's a pickle pie. Hmm. It holds its shape really well. Let me get a 
get you a close-up of this. There's five eggs in it. Give it a sniff. What does it smell like to you? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, it kind of smells a little spicy. I don't really smell pickle. Oh my god, weird. Okay. So it's kind of like a custard, really sweet custard pie with pickles. Um, it is uh, very odd. I don't taste any vinegar, but I definitely taste the dill. This is a really strange pie. Yeah. But it's actually really good. It's good. This is a really good pie if you like pickles and you have a weird tendency to associate pickles with dessert. I love pickles. I don't love this. I'll leave a link, like I said earlier, in the video description to the recipe. This isn't from one of my vintage cookbooks because I, I know I don't have a recipe for pickle pie in any of those. I found this online on my recipes. It's called Utah Pickle Pie. So I don't know if this is a thing in Utah. I didn't find very many recipes for pickle pie. Hmm. I don't I don't know where this came about. Unfortunately, I can't tell you about like the history of it. Is that lemon in it? Yes, there is lemon in it. And cinnamon and nutmeg. Oh, nutmeg. I think it's really good. I mean, you definitely you taste the pickles, but there's I don't taste any vinegar. It's like a sweet pickle pie. The crust is really good. If you didn't like, I think if you left the pickles out and put maybe nuts in it. You could swap out the pickles and put something else in, like maybe nuts. That, that would also be really good because the base pie recipe is really good. Mm -hmm. It's a custard pie. Uh, I think this recipe says it's kind of like a chess pie. I think it's amazing. I'm really glad one of my viewers suggested we make this because I never would have thought of a pickle pie. I love making unusual pies. Like that's my thing. My thing is making unusual pies for Dan because Dan loves pies, right? Do you I like do. this pie? No. I love this pie. I think it's great. Do you think this pie is fun? What a fun flavor. I like the crust though. Let me know down in the comments what your favorite pie is. If you like this recipe, I'm going to see more vintage recipes like this, pickle pie, maybe not vintage, but unusual, then please subscribe and hit the like button. I upload new content every Friday and Dan and I are always here taste testing vintage and unusual recipes. Hope to see you in the next video. Bye, everybody. Bye.